element in the data table. So for that we need to use one more clause. Okay, okay I need to take this also off. So that clause is having. Okay, and then I can give the count customer ID. Okay, and then that it should be less than, no it was greater than, sorry. It should be greater than 50. Okay, and now try to execute it. Okay, actually there are no such records which are present. So what if, if I try with less than are there any records? Yes. There are some records. Okay. So, the main thing is you can apply where clause only to that column which is actually present in your data table. Okay. Not to those columns which are created by you. Okay, for your purpose. Okay, and if you want to apply any condition to such columns which are created by you, then you need to use one more clause which is having clause. Okay, so having now the count customer ID, it is it should be if it is less than 50. So display such records. Okay, clear with this thing? So now try to do it on your systems. Hasna, cust count is actually a renaming done for count customer ID, right? So it does not make any difference. Okay, and also the thing that you have created over here, um, like I guess I have not told in this batch. Yes, see if you are setting an alias name for a for any of the columns, okay if it is present in the data table or if it is not present in the data table, you cannot apply condition to the alias name. Okay, the reason is because this alias name is for just for displaying the things onto the result set. Okay, it is not something which is present in the database. Whatever you are like, uh, you want to display the things in a particular form, form or with a particular name you want to display a column with this particular name. So this is not something which is the name actually given in the table. Okay, so you cannot apply the condition on the alias name. You need to apply the condition on the main name only. Now since this is actually a column which is created by us, so we have to use it by using the have, having clause and that too on the name only. We cannot use the alias name. Okay.
Parinala, you are getting an error. Achai for you also. Paste your queries over here. Let me see. Parinala, you have pasted it. Let me just copy it. Okay, so this is your query. Select the customer ID, count customer ID as cust count. From the contact where the cus. Uh, um, Parimala, the name of the customer is wrong, right? See, it should be, you forgot to write the letter S. Okay, then group by customer ID, having count customer ID less than 50. So it's working fine now. Pache, uh, you also, if you are getting an error, please paste your query over here in the chat box. Okay, let me copy this one also. Count the customer ID. Okay, select the customer ID as cast count now. Select the customer ID is Just give me a minute, please. Okay. So I guess you have given the uh, space over here that would be the problem otherwise apart from that it was good. Okay, see so it's working but since you are giving the uh, condition over there as greater than 50, okay. So there are no records which are greater than 50. If we do it for less than 50, then we can get the records. Okay, but we are not getting any error now. Okay. Because see over here you have used it as count, then the customer ID in continuation. And over here you have given a space between the two. So that was the problem. Hmm. 
no uh, see everyone with the sign it won't give any uh, it should not give an error okay if i use with this one it should not throw an error but uh, yes it it should uh, like not uh, give me any records okay if i'm using the greater than sign okay since there are no records which are matching so it would just give me that uh, okay you have asked for the customer id so the customer id the name of the column is present and the cust count because we have renamed it okay so the column names are present but since there are no matching records with the condition that we have given so there are no records to be displayed but it is executing it's not that it is not executing it is not throwing any error okay so this was about like uh, the different clauses that we need to use or that we need to understand from if you want to extract out a data from a table okay so this was about it now we need to discuss about one more thing that is if we want to see about, uh, till now what we were doing we were trying to do any conditions or we were trying to extract out certain columns certain rows giving the various conditions onto it but what all things we were doing we were doing only to a single table okay we were not taking two tables at a time and doing the things that was not possible with these commands up till now okay now the another important part of sql is the joins okay wherein you need to combine two tables okay so that you can extract out uh, make a common table okay and then extract out the data from that okay so we need to understand about the joins so just let us take a break for 5 minutes and uh, start with the joins then okay so it's uh, 10:33 pm over here so we'll get back at 10:38 okay
Okay, so is everyone back? Okay then, let us start with the joints then. And see whenever we, uh, if I ask you to do something onto your system or if we go for a break, so I usually put my mic also on mute. Okay, so <laughs> no, no worry that you have lost the connection or something of that sort, okay? So because there could be some background noises from my side also. Okay. Okay. So see, uh, consider this database. Okay. Now there is a product. Uh, there is a table which is named as the product. Okay. And there are certain columns which are present in this product table. Okay. And uh, this is the primary key that is the product ID okay and there is one more table present over there which is named as the product product category table wherein there are three columns named as the product category ID product